Now your storm track weather with meteorologist Gabriela Gomez. Definitely cold out there this morning. We're pretty much all in the 30s. We're going to try and warm things up this afternoon. Low to mid 60s, still well below average for this time of year, but we do really start to feel some of that warmer air come back into play heading on into our Sunday, and we kind of see a few temperature swings over this next week or so. May cool back down heading into Monday, warming back up heading into Wednesday, and then we see a chance for some rain through the middle part of the week, and that should cool us back down by the end of next week and maybe even cooler than what we've been experiencing for these past couple of days now. We're even running 5 to 10, even close to 15 degrees colder than just this time yesterday. So it's going to be a little bit of a shock to the system as you step out the door early on this morning and we try and warm things up. Clear skies all across the area were pretty quiet overall. Even our winds have really relaxed through the night. It was pretty breezy yesterday afternoon. We're at 38 right now. Winds are out of the west only about three miles an hour. Really shouldn't be an issue as we go throughout the course of our Saturday. 35 right now in Burlington, Manhattan sitting at 34 with Marysville Junction City sitting at 38 this morning. It is cool and we're going to stay below average on that cooler side throughout the day. We'll try and get into some 50s by the lunch hour, low 60s, maybe even mid 60s later on this afternoon. But we see sunshine pretty much all throughout the course of our Saturday as those winds stay pretty light as well. These were our high temperatures yesterday. Marysville didn't even make it out of the 50s, but low, some mid 60s was definitely comfortable today. Not much different as we go through the start of the weekend. Winds will stay light for our Saturday. Tomorrow we'll try and pick up speed still from the north and northwest. Don't let that deceive you. We're still going to warm things up as we head on into tomorrow. 10 to 15, maybe even close to 20 miles an hour. May have a nice little breeze, but still looking likely we're going to get well above average for tomorrow afternoon. A chilly start, upper 30s, low 40s. Could be very close to 80, if not making a run for 80 tomorrow afternoon. Once we get into Monday, some cooler air settles in again, and we may struggle to warm things up with some upper 60s. So we're definitely going to be riding that roller coaster with temperatures over this next week or so. Clear and quiet this morning, a low pressure pushing off to the east and north there. Bridge building to our west is going to help us warm things up and stay quiet. For really these next couple of days, we don't see rain chances return until maybe Tuesday. And even then, I really think it's going to be very isolated. Obviously, this one overdoes a little bit with how widespread it is. But I think we'll see some isolated rain chances very late Tuesday. Better chance to see some scattered showers maybe late Wednesday. And I think Thursday is probably our best bet to see more of that widespread rain uh, heading into the middle part of the daytime. And it could even linger on into early Friday before we start to dry things out and feel even cooler for the end of next week. So we get some rain chances. Some of them look a little more promising than others, and our temperatures will definitely reflect that as well. We'll see ups and downs, really. Upper 70s Tuesday, close to 80, if not hitting it Wednesday. Silvernight so low should stay in the 40s for the next few nights. May jump up to the 50s very briefly, and then we see that downhill trend heading through the end of next week. Again, those rain chances doesn't look to be a complete washout. We'll have to keep an eye on Thursday, but it should put us back down maybe into some low 60s. I wouldn't be surprised if we even struggle out of those 50s heading on into next Friday. So keep your jackets handy. Maybe keep some shorts handy. Uh, all of the above, really, for the next week. I love it. You never, you, you <laughs> always have to be adaptable uh, here in yeah. Kansas. And that this uh, week up ahead shows that to uh, the 10th degree. Oh my goodness. We asked for fall and here we are, Gabby. I knew we, we were going to regret this. it. Yeah, I knew exactly. It. <laughs> we should have definitely knocked on wood when we uh, asked to hop into the fall. It's okay. Hopefully, you know, like you're mentioning there, it actually stays fall for a bit instead of jumping into, you know, late December, wintry kind of conditions. I don't know. I feel like I'd rather it be consistent, even if it's warm, yeah. than these ups and downs. I it get you. I know what you me. mean. Yeah. So it's it's definitely a mental game here, we'll heading outside. Yeah. yeah. Well, hey, changing gears here, police officers.